So today I'm going to be showing you how to make yourself some dreadlock extensions or you can use the same method to actually make these directly on your head with your real hair. I'm using human hair. This is Remy, human Remy hair and it's actually a hair extension I bought from a shop in Bristol. Um, and I shall show you my method of making these. These are actually my old dreadlocks that I have cut off. I had dreads for 20 years. So um, in that in that 20 years, I had three sets of dreads and I did them all myself. I removed them all myself um, and I have also installed about, I'd say about 70 people's dreadlocks. So this method really worked and I just wanted to share with you guys how to do it. So here we are. Let's get going. So what you're going to need to do this is something to clip the hair to. I have this board that I made, but you could just um, tie it to the table or um, tape it down to a surface, pin it to a cushion maybe. Uh, you're going to need a comb with quite close um, teeth on the comb for back combing. And you're going to need a very small crochet hook. So this one I have here is say what size it is 0.65 and you're going to need some Remy hair so this is I'm using human hair you don't have to use human hair you can use um, the synthetic hair the same method works well but I think if you're going to permanently attach these to your hair I would use human hair um, I happen to have this spare from ones I've made in the past this one is actually a clip-in hair extension so um, as I've removed my dreads recently, I've decided to make myself some clip-in ones because I miss them terribly. So let's, uh, let's get going with this. I'm going to attach this, taking a section. If you roll it like that, you can see roughly how large your dreadlock is going to be. I like mine thin. I have fine hair, so I like thin dreadlocks. I'd rather have lots of thin ones than a few big fat ones because once they're on your hair, this is a good tip actually, once if you have fine hair, lots of thin ones do look better than a few chunky ones because where you've sectioned them on your head, you will have a lot of scalp showing. So if you have, say, two or three in the space of having one, obviously that looks thicker and fuller, even though the dreads themselves are thinner. So that's a little tip for you. Okay, so now I've clipped this to my board and got it secure. The first thing you're going to do is back comb. I like to hold the hair in my hands, back comb gently, and slowly but surely the hair will start to come up. I take it, this fluffy ball you've created, and I pull it back down just gently and then scrub it up again. Take your hair, pull it back down and scrub it up again. This just makes the knots a little closer together, a little tighter. You want to start with a good knotty base, going all the way going all the way up here to the tip, pull it back down and start pushing it up again. So this way you're actually pushing all those knots up and you can see the comb is actually finding it harder to get through there now. And I would just keep doing this a little while until it feels in your hands like a really fluffy dread. Let me zoom in a little so you can see there 
fluffy but it's sort of starting to take on its dready structure just keep going with that for a while now once you've got it feeling quite dense and thick and fluffy you can see that's all very knotty now you can now take your fine hook you put your hook in and just pull it in and out you're not pulling it all the way out you're just pulling it into the center this can take a long time to um, get used to I do a lot of it by feel but you're going to just pull these hairs down into a sort of neat position and then pull your hook in and out and as you're doing that you're catching all the little stray hairs and pulling them into the center so I'm doing this slowly for you to show you just pulling all the hairs into the middle now this is one of those techniques that once you've practiced you can get really quick i generally do it sort of the speed um but to show you i'll slow down the process so you're just capturing these stray ones with your fingers pushing your hook through and pulling them in i like to pinch them because when you pinch them you can actually feel the hook pulling them in. So if I do it so you can see, the hook is pulling them in like this. But once you pinch it, you can start going really quickly. I'm sort of twisting it as I go, grabbing the little hairs and pulling them in. This is a method that takes a long time to do but the end result of the dreadlocks are lovely they look well established quite quickly they don't um, fall out from this so you can wash them that's fine So you just keep going up and down, finding all the stray ends that you want to hook into and pull them down. I don't recommend putting any products in your dreads. Um, I don't use wax. When I very first learnt to do them, I was told to wax them. That is a terrible idea. Do not do that. I regretted it immensely. It took months to get the wax out it does not look nice it does not feel nice and it doesn't do anything for the dreads apart from make them feel waxy <laughs> so you won't need any products just a crochet hook and a comb that is really all you need and this works on all types of hair so your hair can be really straight and silky or lovely and curly it will work if you have really thick hair, I would recommend doing larger dreads, chunkier ones, um, because you will be there forever. My last set of, of dreads, I had 100, over 100, I think, on my head. And I have thin hair, so that goes to show how many you can fit in. Um, beware of that, though. There's a lot of maintenance involved because you have to maintain each one, keep crocheting them to keep them neat and tidy. Let's zoom out a moment so you can see them, that's better. So as you can see, slowly but surely, this is starting to come together. You 
can swim with these that's fine just make sure you rinse the chlorine out um, I didn't used to wash my dreads that often I would leave it several weeks um, sometimes a month or so they never smelled they were always clean you just when you wash them or get them wet make sure you dry them really well that's the most important thing I never did anything to um, physically strenuous so I never got very sweaty um, I'm sure if you go to the gym a lot or get a sweaty head quite often you'd have to wash them more but uh, if you look after them and don't get them dirty you really don't have to wash them that often I found uh, I usually only really wanted to wash them after I'd been to a bonfire or a barbecue because I don't like the smell in my hair but otherwise they were clean and long and oh I miss them oh I really do I may have to put them back in I really loved my dreadlocks so I'll turn it sideways so you can see the whole thing we've gone from this hair to this that could do with more as a perfectionist I would like to go over that for a bit longer I've left the end loose I like loose ends you can blunt the ends to blunt the ends you just crochet it in to the end keep back combing right to the end and crochet it in but I do like a, a loose end in mine and that is how you create a dreadlock I just wanted to show you as well the comparison of one of my old ones so I had this in my hair for about eight years you can see it's really soft it feels soft in my fingers not scratchy at all it's lovely so that had been in my hair for eight years this one brand new freshly done it's very stiff so that's to be expected. If you feel like the texture of this is quite rough as well to start with, they will be quite rough and scratchy. It's just a matter of time. You just need that freshly crocheted look to soften and they will turn to this. There is a process with this. You have to go with the flow and allow allow the dread to do what it needs to do but once you've started it like this you've given it a great start and they will turn into lovely soft dreadlocks in no time as long as you're using human hair if you're using the synthet synthetic hair they do tend to be a little scratchy but they still look fantastic and you can get hundreds of colors so you know that's just a decision you have to make i shall do another video now showing you how to attach one of these extensions onto the end of another dreadlock. Thanks for watching.